Do you want to change the default notification sound on your iPhone and set a custom sound? Well, you've came to the right place. I'll show you how to change the default notification sound and even add your own custom sound to the list. You don't have to set Apple's sounds, you can create your own in just a couple of steps. This is absolutely free and you don't need a computer to do this. The first thing that we will have to do is to make sure that we are running the latest version of iOS, which is iOS 17.2, at the time of recording this video, Apple added an option to change the default notification sounds or default alerts in iOS 17.2, so you have to go over to the settings, then open the general section. After that, we will open the software update section and just make sure that you're running iOS 17.2 or newer. This method will not work if you are on iOS 17.1 or older, so just update iOS and we can then continue to the next step. If you want to add your custom sound, you can go over to Safari, or any web browser you use, and simply download a sound from the internet. You have a bunch of great websites that will allow you to download custom sounds for absolutely free, and you can type something like, free notification sounds, or something like that, and just find a website and a sound which you would like to use. We will have to save our sound in the Files app once we download it. So I will download this specific sound, which I want to hear every time I get a notification on my iPhone, and when the sound downloads, I will save it to my Files app. And one of the last steps is to open the GarageBand application. Maybe you don't have this app installed on your device, but don't worry. You can go over to the App Store and type GarageBand in the search bar. You're looking for an app that has this icon, and this is Apple's official application. We will be using the app to create our custom sound and make a ringtone out of it in order to import it to the notification sounds list. Let's open GarageBand and then start creating our sound. You will see this screen when you first open the application and we will scroll a couple of pages until you can see this audio recorder button. You want to tap on it and that will open this interface. We have a couple of buttons at the very top of the screen, but you just want to follow my steps. Tap on this button until it changes into a little microphone. After that, we will tap on the little blue triangle icon, and you want to make sure that it's white. And now we will tap on this little loop icon. That's going to open a new menu with some sounds. And let's find our sound, which we've downloaded. Tap on the Files section at the top, and then Browse Items from Files app. That's going to open the Files app so you want to find you sound, which we've downloaded from Safari or whichever browser you used. Here is my sound so I will just tap on it and then wait a couple of seconds until my sounds appears on this list. Here it is, and we have to add it to our track, so we can do that by long holding our sound and then just drag it over the timeline. When it shows up right here, we're good to go to the next step and save it as a ringtone. We will tap on this little arrow at the top left of our screen and then select the My Songs option. Our sound should show up in a couple of seconds in this Recent section but for some reason it's not showing up for me, so I'll open the Browse section, and here's my sound. So if you're not seeing your sound in the Recent section, maybe it's in the Browse section. Just find it in here, and then let's export it. You want to long hold on your sound, then Share. We will see this menu with three different options, and we will select the Ringtone option since we want this as a custom notification sound. And we just have to give it a name, so we can select it from the list later on. I will name this as a custom sound, but you can rename it to whatever you want. Just tap on the export button and our custom sound is created. And the last step that we will do is to set this custom sound as our default alert. So open the settings, then tap on the sounds and haptics yard section, and you will see this new default alerts option. This is a new section and feature that Apple introduced with iOS 17.2. So open that section and we can then find our sound at the very bottom of this page. Here is the custom sound, so when I select it, my default notification sound will be changed. When I get a notification from third-party apps on my iPhone, I will hear this custom notification sound. And that's how to change the default notification sound on our iPhone running iOS 17. If you found this video helpful or have any suggestions, make sure to leave a comment down below. And also, check out our iPhone playlist from the video description if you want more iOS 17 and iPhone tutorial videos. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon.